Hello, Calvin Donaldson readers. It's Miss Moore from the library, coming to you from the comfort of my own living room. Today, I'm going to share a story with you called The Rabbits, written by James Marsden and illustrated by Sean Tan. Hopefully, you've had some time to look at some of the pre-reading activities that were assigned to help you better understand the meaning of the story and to understand the symbols in the illustrations. Let's get started. The Rabbits by John Marsden and Sean Tan, read aloud with permission from Scholastic. The rabbits came many grandparents ago. At first, we didn't know what to think. They looked a bit like us. There weren't many of them. Some were friendly. But our old people warned us, be careful. They won't understand the right ways. They only know their own country. More rabbits came. They came by water. They didn't live in the trees like we did. They made their own houses. We couldn't understand the way they talked. They brought new food and they brought other animals. We liked some of the food, and we liked some of the animals. But some of the food made us sick, and some of the animals scared us. The rabbits spread across the country. No mountain could stop them, no desert, no river. Still, more of them came. Sometimes we had fights, but there were too many rabbits. We lost the fights. They ate our grass. They chopped down our trees and scared away our friends. And stole our children. Rabbits, rabbits, rabbits. Millions and millions of rabbits. Everywhere we look, there are rabbits. The land is bare and brown, and the wind blows empty across the plains. Where is the rich dark earth, brown and moist? Where is the smell of rain dripping from the gum trees? Where are the great billabongs, the river-swollen lakes, alive with long-legged birds? Who will save us from the rabbits? <laughs> 